I've been a uh, pretty much a pure uh, a puppy Linux user for uh, greater than the last 15 years or so. And I find it uh, very, very fast and also uh, to my uh, to my liking uh, because I tend to have a uh, low powered machine and a laptop and so on and clearly it was best for me. Uh, but recently I've uh, obtained a uh, moderately fast uh, desktop with a Intel i5 with 8 gigs of uh, RAM and also uh, uh, SSD, uh, internal SSD. So, and I've tried a uh, Linux Mint, as you can see here, the is the latest Linux Mint 21.2 uh, Cinnamon Edition, and uh, I wanted to give a, uh, a feedback on uh, my feeling, uh, my opinion on this. Uh, so, uh, this is my own. Uh, a photo with the, I put a uh, Linux Mint uh, logo on there, but and I've changed uh, several things up here. So just to get to the bottom of the bottom line of this uh, setup in a moderately fast machine, and I think it's a, a matter of preference whether you want a uh, latest uh, puppy Linux such as Fossa Pup six, uh, Fossa Pup sixty four, or its uh, recent variants versus whether you want to use a uh, Linux Mint. Uh, but let me just show you around. So Linux Mint is uh, uh, fairly graphical uh, in that uh, you can do pretty much uh, everything with a, uh, with a graphic interface uh, where I think the uh, Puppet Linux tends to be less so. But I n uh, and I also noticed that uh, it automatically detect my printer, a brother printer. Linux. I have to uh, usually manually set the printer so it will print. Uh, but otherwise, I think there's a significant difference in the animation and uh, eye candy as far as uh, Linux uh, Mint versus Puppy Linux. So I think the uh, for me uh, that really uh, does not matter. Uh, and I'm also uh, pretty much purely a uh, keyboard driven person so but let me just show you I changed around the test bar a little bit on a mint so if I just control A L T C C uh, or C then it brings up my calendar and then uh, control A L T W uh, it brings up the uh, local weather uh, today uh, it may uh, apparently it may uh, rain around the lunchtime but tomorrow it should be okay so and then I, I put in the uh, a simple screen recorder and I, p I plan to edit uh, this and all in Linux Mint and I shouldn't uh, I don't expect any troubles at all uh, so here's the uh, menu item uh, that's the uh, same as uh, I have it as a control uh, uh, just a, a super key on the and, and then it'll give you the menu and also um, this uh, sort of uh, for me replaces a Rofi uh, a launcher because you can pretty much uh, type anything uh, you want and it'll, it'll show up so and also the I've demonstrated the calendar and the weather uh, applet here and here I have a launcher which is a browser a Firefox and then um, I'm still trying to get used to the fire uh, manager in Linux Mint which is Nemo I believe uh, and I'm just used to uh, a rocks filer um, So let me just bring up the uh, file manager here. Apparently there's two of them running, so. And uh, it's dual pane and then my rocks uh, filer I'm used to, which is uh, I can uh, usually uh, work with a triple pane and, and I'm just trying to get used to this uh, uh, file manager, which I think is, uh, is uh, overall very good and I hate I I try avoid uh, pure uh, uh, rocks installing rocks filer here uh, because then uh, 
I'm sort of defeating the purpose in a in a w in a sense, and then I can go ahead and go to the uh, other. So so I've also managed to uh, uh, bring in a lot of uh, scripts that works for me in uh, in uh, Puppet Linux, and I put it in the uh, dot local bin directory, and this uh, most of it uh, seems to work fine. So. One of the things uh, that uh, I really like about uh, Pepe Linux is the a save folder that gets automatically uh, generated uh, with uh, each uh, boot and shutdown. So, but uh, uh, Linux Mint has a very similar function in the sense that there is a uh, program time shift. Which uh, which uh, does pretty much the same in a sense that you can actually look inside of the uh, time uh, uh, time shift file and then uh, copy uh, configuration and so on that you need uh, for a new setup, for example, or if you happen to uh, discard a uh, a file that you need. Uh, you can always copy it from the uh, backup file, uh, which is uh, uh, in the time shift. So that actually uh, uh, has a function uh, very, very similar to save folder um, in uh, Puppy Linux. So here is a my save folder in the pup uh, Fossa pups uh, save. So that uh, in the in uh, f uh, Puppy Linux, I can, uh, f for, e for example, a copy the dash bash alias uh, and then uh, put it into uh, another Puppy Linux. So, and I think the uh, overall bottom line of uh, setting this up and also using it for uh, several days gives me an impression that. If you are, uh, you have a, a fairly modern uh, PC, or uh, and you prefer a little bit more eye candy, uh, you may want to try uh, Linux Mint Cinnamon. But I think, as far as speed-wise, uh, overall Puppet Linux uh, really wins, especially if uh, you have a lower-powered machine, because the most of the uh, Puppet Linux uh, runs in RAM. Last comment uh, before I, uh, I forget is the uh, the fact that uh, you don't have to enter sudo uh, in Puppet Linux, but in in uh, Linux Mint uh, you have to uh, if you want to, for example, install or remove a program. So um, the uh, uh, I think the uh, the fact that you can go ahead and uh, click open as root really is helpful in that uh, file manager uh, opens in a, a root function so you can go ahead and copy things over uh, to another folder and so on without uh, having to uh, uh, worry about uh, uh, regular user and root uh, user so and uh, the other uh, obvious uh, benefit of Linux Mint is that you can use a uh, sudo uh, terminal sudo apt install uh, program and so on from the terminal in uh, most of the uh, uh, Linux pup uh, puppy Linux that will not be possible you have to use a uh, puppy package manager so and I think that's the uh, last comment I, comment I want to give